Hi Leo, welcome to your tarot forecast for December. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. New or returning, welcome and thank you so much. So this is a tarot forecast. We will look at what's going on with you, what your energy is like. We'll look at the situation. We'll look at advice for you, possible outcome, all clarified with tarot oracle cards. So anything could come out here. It could be about love. It could be general. It could be about career finance, family, friends. It could be anything. Just going to take the messages as they come out, see what we get. And if you clicked on the title, then hopefully something here will resonate for you with the title. If the title resonated for you, then there's something probably in here for you. So um, take what resonates and throw away the rest. Energies can be flip-flopped, switched around. Keep that in mind. It could be about somebody around you that's maybe affecting you in some way. Um, it could be past, present, or future energies also. Please keep that in mind. This is a general collective reading, not a personal reading. So uh, every part may not resonate. And I do ask that if it does not resonate at all, that you don't unsubscribe. Hold out for the next reading. Not every single reading will resonate with every person every time. So please do keep that in mind. Or there could be just one message in here that you need to hear. Uh, so we'll see. So Leo, I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy November, almost coming into Christmas time. So this reading is good for whenever you see this till whenever. I do consider all the readings on my channel timeless, even though they're dated. That's just for uh, order. So my viewers know in which order they were released, but please feel free to go back, watch uh, past readings if you like to. Uh, playlists are down below. Okay, so. Leo. What kind of energy is around you, Leo? We could get a sign element planet if you don't resonate with whatever comes out here. Totally fine. Let's see. Let's take that one. See what we have. The sun. Well, you got yourself. <laughs> you got yourself. So you're all up in your own reading here. <laughs> the sun is Leo. And the sun is about being true to yourself, your identity, who you are. Um, being original, just following your own self-value, self-worth, and uh, doing what's best for you to your own happiness and joy and success and victory. The sun is who, what makes you. So that's your personal identity. That's your originality. That's your way, your creative ideas, how you express yourself. Being true to who you are. All right. Leo, coming up as yourself in this reading. So maybe just concentrating on yourself for the month of De uh, December, possibly. Just doing you, flying solo, or just doing what's best for you in some way. All right, so let's get an opening. This is the past life oracle, but I was led to use this. So hopefully, um, I took out all the location cards because they wouldn't make any sense to have those in here. So hopefully Spirit won't give me any funky cards that I don't understand. <laughs> so let's get an opening message for you, Leo. Opening message for Leo. Trees. Okay, well. <sighs> so some of you may feel connected to trees or something like that. Or you may need to go out and ground yourself. Go sit under a tree, in the shade, in the sun. Read a book. Um, just ground yourself. Spend some time out in nature, maybe go on a hike in the woods or on a, a trail or something like that. Something around trees. Uh, I don't want to say like the woods or the forest, but something with trees here. So, hmm. okay. Trees. Maybe you need to go climb a tree. I don't know. Have some fun. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Maybe some of you, okay, I just got this weird message. Maybe some of you want to build a tree house. I know there's a show where they build like these massive tree houses that you could like almost live in. <laughs> Maybe you want to go live out in the middle of nowhere in a tree. I don't know. It sounds crazy. Or, you know, be surrounded by trees where there's peace, harmony. You can just be yourself, do your thing. Okay. All right, so let's get Leo's energy. What is going? Medicine, man or woman. So some of you are gifted. Um, some of you could be Native American. Or some of you just could be gifted. You could be a healer of some kind. Uh, it could be Reiki. It could be chakra healing. 
It could be long distance healing, some sort of healing here where um, you have these gifts here. Or some of you could actually be, maybe some of you are a tree doctor. Is there a such thing? I don't know. Or maybe you make um, herbal medicines and things like that from plants and trees and things like that. Or holistic medicines. Maybe that's what uh, some of you do here. Or if you're thinking about going down that path, going down that direction, I would say go for it. With Because with the sun energy here, it's probably what you are meant to do here on in this life. Wow. Or some of you could really be uh, a doctor, a nurse, or something like that. Okay, in the medical field of some kind. So let's see what the bottom orphan. So doesn't necessarily mean that you like are an orphan. This really reminds me of like the five of pentacles energy where you just feel like, um, like you don't fit in. Like you feel like uh, you're always like left out in the cold, neglected, abandoned. Could also speak of monetary lack. Um, you know, just feeling like you never fit in. Like you don't belong where you are maybe. Um, that sort of energy. And maybe whatever you're doing now, it's like, yeah, I'm doing it, but I don't feel like it's my sole mission, my sole purpose, what I'm meant to do. You know, I really want to go towards my my joy and my happiness with the sun energy and being true to me. And for some of you, it could be going down that path of holistic medicine or something of that nature or just following your path of being like a natural healer of some kind. Wow. Okay. Leo. All right. So let's see. And I did say, you know, maybe some of you just want to go and be somewhere where you can be by yourself or just you and your person or whatever it is here where you're not bothered by, by anyone, maybe in the middle of nowhere where there's a lot of trees, you know, and that's could be, you know, this alone energy, like just being at a place where you could just be by yourself and not bothered by anybody. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Let's clarify with the tarot. Yes, this is a tarot deck. This is the good tarot. All the decks are listed below if you're interested in that. You can check the description box below. Tons of stuff down there. Uh, decks I'm using, social media, how to book a personal reading. Tons and tons of stuff down there. All right, so why is medicine... Wow, okay, that's way too many. But I'll take this one. The Three of Air. So this is Three of Swords energy. So this is, you know, heartbreak, sorrow, um, something heartbreaking here. Heartful, painful kind of energy. Oh, let's get one more. Messenger of Earth. It could be some of you are seeking healing from something... I don't want to say traumatic, but something you went through that was very hurtful and painful. So maybe some of you sought out a medicine man or woman to help you clear, like either like past like regression or um, like clear your chakras or do Reiki healing or some sort of spiritual healing to get over some sort of painful, um, hurtful, some, something painful or hurtful here. But then you have the messenger of earth. So this is communication, uh, something coming in. It could be a message of something grounded and stable. Um, it could be like a new job opportunity since it is pentacles. Um, you know, maybe whatever you went through, you, you know, maybe you want to get on this path or maybe you're dabbling in like um, holistic medicine and things of that nature, something in the spiritual realm or anything of that nature out of the ordinary and that's why you know you have the orphan card here and maybe you sort this out also because you went through something very painful and you wanted to heal from that and maybe through that you got some kind of offer a stable offer here either for you know working with somebody somebody to help you build a business or something like that or somebody that wants to contribute to what you're doing or help you along the way and it's something stable and grounded here uh, that's secure. So let's get more. The Four of Water. Yeah, so Four of Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Air here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Earth here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. 
And that, earth, you know, reminds me of the tree's energy. Um, so the four of water is, you know, I think you're just bored and complacent with wherever you are now, whatever you're doing. Um, you know, the four of water energy is just very bored energy. Like, it's not growing. It's not expanding. It's not, it's like, you know, sometimes it could talk of love, like no love offers coming in or going out, not accepting any, not offering any out. Should I, shouldn't I offer love, you know? But in this case, I don't think it's about love. Or maybe, you you know, you got over a love situation that hurt you deeply and you need some sort of healing from that. Hopefully it wasn't medical healing. I think you sought out holistic healing or spiritual healing or something like that, but which led to an offer for you if you're dabbling in this also to help grow and expand your business moving forward. Because I think even if some kind of love offer here or something hurts you, I also think you're bored and complacent to whatever, whatever your occupation is now. It's like you feel offering there, like, like this is not what I want to do. Very bored, very complacent energy. Hope this is resonating for somebody. So let's get one more to clarify this energy. Messenger of fire. So yeah, this is me two messages here. So that's a secure, stable offer. And here is like a new idea. Um, good news coming in. So good news of an idea, a creative process, a creative idea, it's being very passionate about it. So yeah, passionate message coming in that's very stable about a creative new idea, uh, endeavor, project, or something here. Being like fired up about it. That will lead to stability. So let's see what the actual situation is here for you, Leo. Four of Earth. Yeah, and I just said will lead to your stability and the four earth is all about stability and it's also about you know holding on to what you have and not letting go of something either so you may need to uh this is like holding on tight to your finances or anything here for fear of losing it to keep control of your um your basis your foundation your stability so you may need to like watch your finances um you know, to keep yourself grounded and stable. All right, so, but will lead to stability there, I see. So let's get one more. Let's get one more. All right, let's see. Wow, the Ace of Air and the Ten of Earth, wow. <laughs> So here you have a brand new divinely guided beginning based on true clarity, seeing things clearly, um, you know, cutting away things no longer serving you, speaking up for yourself, not backing down, not taking any BS, truthful, open, honest communication, like having a big aha moment, epiphany, could be a spiritual awakening, it could be anything, and just having that big epiphany to your new beginning of this will bring me total abundance, success, prosperity for my future for the long term. I will never have to worry. And holding on to that. I feel like you're going to hold on to this offer. You're seeing it with truth and clarity on how proper, uh, proper it can be um, for your stable long term here. So this could be a lifelong project for you or a lifelong um, new endeavor that's going to bring you total stability, abundance, and growth for you, Leo. Wow. All right, so let's see what your advice is. Let's see. Hold on to this idea. Don't let it go. Your divinely guided new beginning is right here for you. There's a need for you just to see it clearly and think clearly. To a fire, making plans, choices, decisions, moving forward. Your energy, Leo Sag Aries, being very fiery and passionate as you make choices and decisions for your future moving forward. And the moon. So, uh, you know, the moon can talk about not seeing things clearly. Um, it could talk about, it could talk about secrets. It could talk about listening to your gut and to your intuition, things coming to light, you know, things hidden come to light. Um, know all the facts. Don't be left out in the dark about anything, whatever this offer is before you move forward and make plans. You know, make sure you know every single detail, you know every little single thing 
before you and learn everything you need to know before you make these plans moving forward. Just don't rush into it without knowing all the facts first with the moon energy. So let's get a couple more clarifiers for this. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy. Wow. So, you know, we got 10 there, which is an ending, but then there's always a new beginning, which is that Ace of Swords. So I think wherever you are now, where you're feeling bored, complacent, there's no growth expansion, you feel like an orphan there, like I don't fit in, this is not for me, but I have to do it. This is the Wheel of Fortune, something divinely guided for you. This is fate, destiny, things going in your favor, turn of luck, things going in a better direction. So yeah, I do feel like this will bring you a fortune here. This will bring you abundance that you're seeking for the long term. But I don't know about this moon energy here. So um, seven of fire, seven of wands energy. That's your energy, Leo Sag Aries. So this is, uh, you know, being on guard, defensive sometimes, standing up for yourself, you know, fighting for yourself. So you may have to fight for this. You may have to defend yourself. Others may say, oh, you know, that's childish, it's stupid, it's whatever, and they may put it down. Um, but, you know, your advice is to fight for it here. But again, I don't know, maybe, maybe there's some things you still need to learn or know or expand on, and that maybe you, need, you know you need to broaden your horizons, you need to uh, learn more whatever you're doing so definitely as you move forward learn more know more um everything here with the moon energy because the divinely guided wheel is here for you so whatever new beginning this is for you if you're going into the medical field of some kind you're wanting to move i don't know where there's trees i i don't know um but whatever you're doing here um it's best, for, I think it will stabilize you too with the tree energy. It's very stable. It's grounded. It's rooted. I think this is something deeply rooted within you. That's been your passion for a very long time. You see how tall that tree is? It's been like a lifelong passion for you. Mission or whatever here. Or maybe you haven't been telling anybody. Maybe the moon energy is not to, you know, tell everybody what you're doing. Because some may put it down and then you're just going to have to defend yourself. So as you're moving forward, you know, maybe it's an energy too of, you know, maybe everybody doesn't need to know. So a lot of different meanings there. So let's get your, uh, let's get a few more clarifiers on your advice. Five of ear energy. So, so this could be an energy of like ego or like getting ahead at all costs. And you don't care how you do it, who you hurt kind of energy. Let's get one more. I don't know why that, why is the five of air here? The two of earth. So, you know, this is juggling things around, making practical decisions um, to balance, bring things into balance. So, make sure you, you know, you just keep your energy balanced because we have the two of fire here, which is about making decisions moving forward two of earth about making decisions and balancing yourself out the moon energy can be about not seeing things clearly or make sure no one's you know deceiving you in any way um i don't get that anybody is but we never know uh, with the five of air energy there and uh i don't it seems like a, a good offer or a good idea or project or endeavor here so let's see what your outcome is possible outcome nine of ears so we have ear energy here so this is stress worry anxiety fear all right so why is that here for your possible outcome what are you stressing about the queen of water so this could be a mother figure it could be just um or does it can be man or woman doesn't matter but um you know, the queen of water here is, uh, like I said, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. It is loving, caring, nurturing kind of energy. Self-worth, value, self-love. It could be your energy or it could be an energy of 
trust, you know, water signs usually, you know, stands for being intuitive and that kind of energy. So I guess, you know, listen to your gut, your intuition, your value, your worth, your inner knowing. Could be a water sign around you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male, female, could be sister, mother, uh, father, I don't know, family member, friend, or somebody coming in with this offer if they're not an earth sign. Um, it could be, um, I'm getting like a, a parent figure maybe worrying and stressing over you about this direction you're going in that you won't be able to like take care of yourself or make enough means to take care of yourself. I don't know. So let's get one more for the possible outcome for Leo. Ace of Earth. So there's your brand new beginning. you got two aces here. This is a brand new divinely, um, brand new divinely guided beginning here to total wealth, abundance, prosperity, built on a firm foundation for the long term. So there you go. So this will be abundant. So you not you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about that. I think you may worry you're not seeing profits right away or, or things aren't going the way they should be. I think you may stress, worry, have fear, anxiety, but the ace of earth is here to say, you know, some things may be slow at the start in the beginning, but you will have long term success because you do have the ten of pentacles here. So somebody may be helping you, that's a water sign. Or this is just telling you to keep in that energy of self-love, compassion, that nurturing, caring, giving kind of energy. Being intuitive, that kind of energy. So these are big cards. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Ten of Water. So there you go. It's complete happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way that can, you can imagine. The Tower moment. So this just can be a big epiphany surprise it doesn't have to be something bad i'm not getting anything bad here like something crumbling down um it could hit you as a big surprise that this person offers to help you in your journey or offers you something here it could be a very very big surprise to you um three of cups of energy here three of water so you know this is celebrating rejoicing coming together having you know a good time reuniting so i think be celebrating here about your stability so i think you will become stable grounded independent staying on your own two feet on your own here and be a reason to celebrate here all this abundance that you now have page of earth so okay these messages over here are knights i forgot this deck is a little bit different so yeah Somebody coming and taking action towards you actually with the offer because he has the offer with the page of earth that's very grounded, being very fiery, passionate, um, and having the stable offer and moving forward towards you with this um, exciting stable offer because he has the offer here with the page of earth. Hermit, so you may spend some time, uh, there's the sun again, double confirmation, total happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing energy happy home and family, everything here. And maybe, you know, may need to think about it for a minute here with the hermit energy. Virgo energy here doesn't have to be. So yeah, just thinking about it for like a minute and saying, yep. Yep. I think that's uh, what I want there. The, the message coming in, having your stability in the end, celebrating, coming as a big shock surprise having total happiness, joy, and fulfillment in every single way that you can imagine. Wow. Living your life purpose and truth, harmony, compassion, that loving, caring, nurturing, giving energy. Like following your life mission, your life purpose with the sun energy. Wow, Leo. Okay, Leo, I do, I'm going to get some extra messages for you from the Archangel deck. But before I do that, I just want to say, if you do like how I read in my style, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you subscribe, Hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. I do a general reading like this. I do a love connection to energy reading. I do a singles reading who's coming towards you. And I do messages from spirit, what your uh, spirit guides want to tell you. So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. And thank you to everybody who supported me in the channel. 
if you uh, supported me in any way, I truly appreciate it. I couldn't do it without you guys. The more you support the channel, the more YouTube will um, circulate my readings and my channel, the more the messages will get out to people that need to hear them. So thank you so much for doing that and helping for the in the channel's growth and being a part of that. So I just want to say thank you, thank you so much. Okay, Leo. Leo, Leo. Let's get some extra messages here for you, Leo. Looks like you're going to be heading in the right direction to your life mission, your life purpose, whatever that is for you. All right. Okay. Clear audience. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind from uh, or from other people. So, yeah, so some of you do have gifts here. Some of you could have clear audience here. And if you've been wondering about that, this is um, here to tell you confirmation that, yes, indeed, you do have clear audience for some of you. So you may be getting um, downloads, hearing messages from your guides, your spirit team, um, from other people, like in 5D energy, like telepathically kind of communicating with people, passed over loved ones, uh, that sort of energy. So is there anything... That one wanted to fly. Well, <laughs> moon cycles. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifest and capitalize upon these cycles. So we did have the moon energy here. So maybe some of you do uh, work with the moon energy. Um, or maybe you could be into moonology or something like that. But yeah, moon here, confirmation for some people here. Maybe you need to work around the energy of the moon and its phases to help you and guide you along your journey here. All right, so anything else for Leo? Maybe some of you need to set intentions with the new moon. Uh, maybe you, some of you need to release some things uh, with the full moon. All right, if you're not sure about moon cycles or doing moon work, things like that, you can always Google that. Anything else for Leo? Hello from heaven. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. So that's a message for some people. Archangel Azrael. We have Archangel Haniel. And we have Archangel Zatkiel. So some of you are wondering about your past over loved ones. They're doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. And you may be receiving that through your clear audience. So pay attention to that. So let's see what's on the bottom. You are safe. Archangel Michael, I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. So for some of you, if you were seeking medicine man or woman because you felt like you had some negative energies around you or your home, uh, that could be a message for some that now you are safe and there's no need to worry about those energies being around you or affecting you any longer. Wow, a lot of messages here, Leo. So good luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, it's to always, always, with the sun energy there, to always, always shine your light.